I had been deceiving myself that my health was actually in a good state. For the last seven years before that, I had been gaining weight and just putting it off as being something that comes about as you get older. But in February of 2018, we were listening to a presentation by Dr. Ross Grant from the South Pacific uh, Adventist Hospital called the SAM. And in his presentation, he was telling us about the effects of good health on memory, on health, and on your engagement with life in general. And my two friends turned to me and said, Terry, you need to go and get assessed because you're looking fat. But I took their advice and the next morning I went and did a full free assessment that was being shared with us by the Sydney Adventist Hospital. And I came to the understanding that there were a number of areas of concern in my health. First, my blood sugar was too high. Second, my biological age, even though I'm actually 49 years old, indicated that I was 63 years old and that really stopped me in my tracks. I was confirmed as a diabetic, but that there were certain things that I could do to actually reverse it. And I went to see Dr. Andrew Pennington at the Lifestyle Sanctuary Clinic, and it was there that he told me that I had to change my diet if I wanted to be able to see my future with good health. And all of these things I could have done before February because in my family there is actually a history of diabetes type 2. My father has it, my grandfather had it, my uncle has it, and I should have known that it was coming my way as well. What to do? So the doctor told me, change your eating habits. In the morning, instead of having toast with butter and jam, have a bowl of cereal, have some fruits, have some nuts. And so immediately I started changing my, my habits. And in the last nine months, I've lost 10 kilos of body weight, and I'm well and truly on the way to being completely reversing of diabetes type 2. When you look in the mirror, you're actually seeing somebody that you think is okay, but when the doctors actually take a full assessment of who you are, that's when you know exactly how good or how poor your health was. As a man, I hadn't gone to a doctor for eight years, and when that assessment came in February, it was a wake-up call. It was a wake-up call of great proportions because I realized that if I continued having the health that I had at that point in time, I was not going to be around for my daughter's wedding. I wasn't going to be able to see my son's graduation because of the side effects of diabetes, which include stroke, heart disease, the inability to think because your memory is actually affected by the micro bleeds in your brain. It's easy to change your lifestyle when you know that the end cometh. And let me tell you, in nine months to lose 10 kilos and to come to a sense of well-being in terms of health is something that anyone can do. All you need is the right motivation. My motivation was obviously being there for my family. What's yours gonna be?